In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite way to defend the gun bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody, and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become so that they can basically dominate online. And if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it literally allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys really a very, very important way and tip uh, of how you can go about stopping the gun bunch with really only a couple of adjustments. And so uh, here's what we're gonna do. So obviously what we've done is in our 335 wide, we've put the cover four show two in our audibles. Now, if you wanna learn my entire 335 wide defense, all of the blitzing schemes, the run defenses, and the formation specific coverage schemes, you can learn all of that in my 335 wide defensive guide, which you can get that in the description of this video. It's uh, 15 bucks for the defense, and it literally is probably the best deal in Madden 21. It breaks down every single thing about how you need to go about playing defense in this game. It's very, very simple, but it's also very, very effective. Now, for your zone drive, this is a zone drop scheme. It's a zone drop defense. And the reason why is because zone drops are honestly probably the safest way to play defense in this game. My personal opinion, they are very safe and it's very, very consistent for you to be able to be effective. So what do you want to do? You want to put your flats on 30. You want to put your curl flats on 10 yards and you want to put your hooks on five. So as you can see right here, these are the zone drops that I've set. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in three, three, five, cover four drop, but I'm going to almost always audible down into that 335 uh, wide cover four show two, and I'm gonna show you the adjustments that we're going to make. Now, most people would tell you that if you're going to defend gun bunch, you wanna make sure that you run a certain types of coverages. Well, here's what I like to do. It's actually, again, very different from what a lot of people would teach you in terms of how you wanna defend gun bunch. So here's, what, here's how we're gonna defend it. We're actually going to use a cover two quarter scheme. It's really simple, but it's really, really effective. So all we're gonna do is we've audible to cover four show two, okay? So step one, check, we've done that. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the blitzing linebacker that is on the right side of the screen, and we're actually gonna man him up on the circle receiver. That's really the problem child of the gun bunch when they motion out and run mesh and stuff like that. That's the guy that causes the most problems. And so we're just gonna man him up very, very simply. The next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to run a cover two to the bunch side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the um, safety that is on the bunch side and we're gonna put him in a deep half and then we're gonna put our corner on the bunch side into a cloud flat, just like that right there. As you can see, it's you know very simple. Now on the left side, this is actually where it gets a little bit wonky and just a little bit different. What we what we have to do, and again, it's a little tricky, um, but basically we're gonna throw the three rec hook out there, of course. So we're gonna put the defensive uh, end on the right side in a three rec. So, so far, this is what the coverage scheme looks like. Now, by itself, this is a pretty solid coverage scheme. The problem is, um, the running back can really cause us some problems. If the running back is on a flat route, it's, he's gonna be open. If the running back's on an option route, he's gonna have a pretty decent shot at getting open. And so we need to basically figure out how we're gonna defend the running back, really. And so it's honestly simpler than you might think, um, but basically what we're going to do is we are going to take the linebacker that is on the running back side, okay? You can leave him, there's kind of a cat and mouse game. Again, you can do all, you can do whatever you wanna do, right? I personally am gonna recommend to you that you go ahead and leave him in the zone that he's in. Um, and then basically with your user, what you wanna do is you want to kind of like come down in here and like kind of mess stuff up. But the reason why I like this um, is because it's really, really hard to beat. Now, there's another style of defense that you can do. Um, there's another style of defense that you can call 
that will be a little bit more effective. And it's basically to create a cover two to the left side. So, um, but it's to create it in a little bit of a different way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a deep half to the outside corner on the left, just like that right there. As you see, deep half. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, man up the running back with that linebacker. And then we're gonna put up curl flat zone. This right here is really, really hard to beat if you're running gun bunch. Like really, really, really hard to beat. Um, another way you could do it is simply do that right there. Instead of manning him up, you just take, you do that. That's another way you could do it. Um, the reason why that doesn't always work out well is because again, if he's on a really, really hard flat. So what you might wanna do, and this is just, you know, you might wanna put that guy on like a 10 yard, um, instead of 10 yards you might want them on five you might want them on zero um there's there's justification for all that but really your user you really need to do make sure that your user kind of stands right here and what you really want to watch is if they run jets dig you've got to get out here and really deter that and then you're going to basically work here and your job is to take away the dig route that's pretty much it that's all they're going to be able to hit let me show you that on instant replay i know we talked a lot about the coverage but i just want to show you what happens and what the post snap analysis is so if you take a look here this is jets dig this is one of the best plays in the game as you can see the deep half takes that guy very very nicely and you're pretty much able to play solid defense right there's really nothing that nothing's open i mean literally nothing is open right the in route was open um the little flat route like is open but you see i mean like it's like a yard or two it's not going to be a big thing and if you want to move your curl flats down to five or to zero you can do that if you move them down you will take that away now the next route that i or the next play that i want to hit on uh just briefly um is mesh i think mesh is a problem for a lot of people mesh is a good play um it does a lot to zones so i want to show you that really quickly so again we're playing cover two on the bunch side so this is cover two on the bunch side on this on this other side here the left side you can you can do a lot of what you can kind of do a lot of different options i personally like this i think that makes the most sense um right there that i just did um if they run a crossing route to the tight end they might have that okay if you want to stop the crossing route then you would do something like this right here right a traditional cover too you could all i mean there's there you know i just i just don't really fear a crossing route to the tight end i actually think that this 10 yard curl flat a lot of times will jump it okay a lot of times he'll jump it but anyway this is mesh I want you to watch the circle receiver. You're going to see that the, because we've put these, because he's manned up and because we've got a 30 yard cloud flat, it's an automatic interception. Not able to throw that. There's not, there's no window to hit that. It's also why verticals doesn't work from Gun Bunch. There's no window to hit it. So now let's go to everyone and their mom's favorite play and indeed my favorite play from Gun Bunch. And let's talk about the flood concept. So um, again, our setup took five seconds, maybe not very long for the setup. But this is um, this is flood, so I just want you to watch flood. And if you watch this R1 receiver, it's really a tight window. It's really a tight window. Can they fit it in? Yeah, they can. But it's a really really tight window. One other last little thing that I would tell you is if you are having, if you are running into any, if they're running a lot more flood than they are running like mesh posts, then put a vert hook out there as opposed to a um, put like a vert hook out there as opposed to something else because you'll see he'll kind of drift right in that area and you know it's kind of dangerous to throw a low ball and as you can see the zones are just jumping for days so that is my favorite way to stop the gun bunch i'm gonna go over it one more time so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out you're gonna call cover four show two you're gonna put a cloud flat over there and basically you're gonna turn the right side into a cover two defense as you can see right there cover two mabel to the right side the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna basically create um, a cover two invert style defense here on the left side as you can see and that's pretty much it if you wanted to you could um and you could certainly you know do you know something like this and, and basically, you know, roll with that if you wanted to do that. You can do this defense right here. It's just, I would just tell you from personal experience, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you know, because if they run an option route and a curl route on the right, you could be screwed. There's a lot of reasons as to why. But I mean, this defense does work. I mean, you'll see here, just traditional Mabel coverage. 
and uh, you take everything away. So it's a very safe way to defend Gun Bunch. If you want to learn the rest of my 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My cell phone number is 208 208- 218-6900. And just another reminder, if you want to get that 335 wide bunch or 335 wide defensive guide, it's the exact defense that I use in money games and in tournaments. You can get that entire guide for just $15 in the description of this video. Thanks for your time, guys.